I'm Robert Thomas. I'll be fighting on Glory 44 in Chicago against Warren Thompson. My last two fights, I was kind of half in, half out. I, I wasn't fully committed to kickboxing. I was at a really good boxing gym, so I was dabbling in boxing and then not really doing any kickboxing training, just kind of kind of messing around on my own while fully committed to boxing at the time. Uh, and then I just ended up taking those kickboxing fights strictly for the opportunities. So for this fight, I, uh, I decided to, to make the change I needed. I'm still getting my boxing training with Sid Vanderpool and Kitchener. And for my kickboxing, I'm making the trip to Scarborough, driving through two and a half hours of traffic three times a week to, to train with the best in uh, Bazooka Joe Valtellini at Bazooka Kickboxing. A little piece of me is going into Rob in this tournament. Uh, this is, Rob was able to do his full camp here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA, and I've gotten to see a huge difference uh, in Rob. Now with Joe on the team, like on top of my boxing, I can take that. I can take that spot. I want to get a couple, couple good wins under my belt, and then I'm running for that title. I can, I can take out anybody in this division. I think this is a good position for Rob, um, because Rob's at a time in his career where he's ready to put all his eggs into kickboxing, and um, he came um, into the sport being thrown against the top in the divisions to make a debut against Artem Levin and Rob only probably had under five fights at that time to fight someone like Artem Levin is huge. I've got the best boxing coach in Canada, the best kickboxing coach in Canada and they were both world champions, they know what it takes and they're going to get me to that spot, to my own world championship. Uh, this fight really is going to be one of the biggest fights uh, for these both of these guys in their career. They both want, need this momentum in their career to launch themselves to fight the top in the division. He's he's one and four in the division. I'm two and four in the division. He thinks this is like going to be a resurgence to his career because he's dropped down to middleweight and has uh, and he's got that one win over Mike Lemare. But like Mike Lemare, he's gotten locked out a few times. He's on his way out anyways. And and. Warren won a terrible, close, like the ugliest fight I've ever seen. And it was like a super close decision against Michael Mayer. And I've, I've pictured it in my head. I'm seeing like first few exchanges. I see myself catching him with a head kick. This guy's sloppy. I'm gonna hit him, I'm gonna freeze him. And then I'm gonna hit him with that head kick and put this guy out. I asked him, I said, Rob, like, you know, Warren says he has better boxing. And I saw a side of him, he, he laughed, he giggled. And he was like, there's no way. Like, I mean, he's just confident now. He's wanting to show that he's the best in the world. Warren Thompson said his boxing is better than mine. Uh, first off, you can't even call what he's doing boxing. That's just a disrespect to the sweet science that is boxing. He's just walking in, zero head movement, he's flat-footed, and he's just throwing wild, wild sloppy punches. And he just tries to overwhelm guys. It's not boxing at all. He, like, I'm gonna pick him apart if he's gonna do that. Listen, it's like, it, that's, that's easy. That style is easy for me. I'm going to pick him apart, I'm going to make him pay. Yeah, I'm just going to put on a clinic on this guy. I've, I've dedicated my entire life to this. This is the only thing I've ever done. Like, the last 10 years of my life, since I was a 14-year-old kid, I've been training, like, day in, day out. And now, now I'm driving to Kitchener, hour to Kitchener a day, and then two hours here every day. Yeah, this is going to be my life. One of the first things I asked him was like, Rob, how bad do you want it? You know, in order to be this world champion that you know you're striving, you're dreaming for, you know, you really have to put all your sacrifice, your whole life, and it's got to mean more than life itself to you. And um, seeing that change in, um, in Rob's eyes has been a big difference. He, you know, he wants it now. Um, he's really uh, motivated. He he's, dreams about it. He, every time he hits the pads, you see the emotion in him. He's starting to let that inner beast come out. The Rob we're seeing now is aggressive. He's coming forward. He's hitting power with all his shots. His boxing's improved. His defense has improved. You know, his footwork is, is at a new level right now. As a coach, it's crazy because I'm constantly trying to get the guy tired. I can't get him tired. I, I put him through, you know, as many sparring rounds, pad work, bag work. Um, his conditioning is just at a totally different level. And he's easily could be, you know, a world champion in the next year or so. So watch out for, for Rob Thomas. This camp, he's been dropping sparring partners. I've seen him dropping people with, with his left kicks in, in, in sparring. You know, I've just flipped that switch with my own mental training. 
and I've taken it to the next level. Like I've been just dropping guys in sparring. I've been finishing my sparring partners. I've been hurting people this time. And, and it's just that mental, that mental switch in my mind that like I'm trying to, to put a hurting on anyone that's in front of me. Four weeks ago, I had a list of things that you know Rob needed to improve. Yesterday, I looked at this you know list of maybe 10 things, and I looked and I could easily check off an improvement on every one of those things. So seeing how far he's improved as a kickboxer in the last four weeks has been incredible. This is the best camp I've had. I've got amazing coaches on, on board and uh, you know, I'm going to send a message with Warren Thompson. I'm going to knock this guy out. You're going to see a big different side of him and, you know, Glory 44 Chicago is the, the start and the resurrection of a new Rob Thomas. Yeah, this is my chance at redemption. I'm going to be the top kickboxer in the world and I will get that title one day. He wants to, you know, fight those bigger names. He has to win this fight. Nobody should be underestimating me and Glory right now. I've fought all the top guys, I've rocked these guys, I've wobbled them, I've had my moments of brilliance. I promise you, you're gonna see a different Rob Thomas that's gonna put on more of an exciting fight, more action, more power. I'm constantly improving. Every time I'm in the gym, I'm learning, I'm working on something new. I have the power to beat anybody in glory. The world is endless for him and the potential he has you know, has to unfold and it starts with Warren Thompson and he'll do whatever it takes to win you know, this fight and to get back on his winning ways. Now he's at the point where he wants to finish his career um, as a glory champion and it's right around the corner. On August 25th at 8 p.m. Eastern timing, make sure you tune into UFC Fight Pass to watch me knock out Warren Thompson.